Welcome to the Real Estate Insider, where I'm going to provide you with information and answers you need about the Edmonton real estate market. So I've changed the format a little bit. Every month, I am going to answer these four questions on the Edmonton real estate market using data and a sprinkle of my opinion. So the four questions are, how fast are homes selling? How much are homes selling for? Are homes selling for list price? What are the hot neighborhoods in Edmonton? So in this video, I'm specifically answering that question, how fast are homes in Edmonton selling? If that's something you're interested in, then this video is for you. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, knowing how fast homes in Edmonton are selling are really important for your strategy and your expectations. I'm Jen McPhillamy, a realtor with Remax River City right here in Edmonton, and I'm going to go over my Real Estate Insider Report found right on my website. This report's answering the question, how fast are homes selling? And we're going to use average days on market to help us answer that. So as I mentioned, all this information and the charts are found on the blog on my website under the Real Estate Insider. You can scroll down and see what I have to say here or check out the reports, which are down below. So in each report, we start with a district map. This district map is something that I created uh, in order to give everybody an idea of what's happening in the sections of the city. Since our quadrant system doesn't really divide the city nicely, I thought it would be better if I made up my own map because this is the typical areas that you're going to see people wanting to live in if they live in, want to go to the southwest, west, Northwest, Northeast, East, Central, etc. So looking at the average days on market for um, Edmonton by district, we can see that they range from the low days on market in the Southwest of 20 days and the longest time uh, things were selling for detached single family homes was 31 days in Central and everything else is in between that. If we look at attached homes, which is half duplexes, uh, row housing, townhouses, residential attached. Uh, the low days on average days on market was in the Southwest again at 24 days. And it looked like things were taking quite a bit longer in the Northeast for this category to sell at 39 days on market. And whichever era you're interested in, you can see uh, what those days are here. Moving on to apartment condos. Uh, condos still are buyers mar pretty strong buyers market. So the southeast things are moving a little bit better. 42 days on market in the west, taking 72 days on average. And moving on to the days on market, month over month, the monthly chart. I still have it split between the three categories: the detached single family homes, the attached homes, and the apartment condos. Um, so looking at detached, you can see that in January, uh, it was quite high, taking longer. This is typical seasonally for things to take longer in January. Um, and as, you know, the outside warms up, people get out there, start looking at more houses. So April was our low and we crept back up by one day in May um, for attached homes. It took a little bit longer in January for those to sell, and it did come down to 29 days in May. And apartment condos, um, pretty high in January. And though these dates aren't super great, they did come down, just like detached homes with the low being in April and up a little bit in May. So when looking at average days on market, you also want to look at uh, the year-over-year -year data so you can take out the seasonal effect on the days on market. So checking uh, back to May 2021 uh, compared to May 2022, were we actually doing better um, for average days on market? And you can see that May 2021 was 26 days and 23 days in May for detached. Um, uh, same thing, an improvement this year over last year for attached homes from 35 to 29. And apartment condos, though, were doing better last year um, for how fast things were selling. So May 2021, 51 days and 56 days this year. 
So that's basically the information that you're going to see on the reports for each of those questions. Uh, there's a few more charts depending on what the question is, but average days on market is pretty straightforward. So that's all we really needed. Uh, something else that I'd like to mention that's not in the report is that just today before I recorded this video, I did check the active sales, which means homes that are currently for sale on the market and what their average days on market are right now. And these homes that are active currently for sale do not have any offers. So if they were to get an offer today, you're still looking at 10 to 14 more days um, in the average days on market calculation before uh, that total average would be up. So it's all looking good. From May, that low was what, 23 days on market. The active for sale homes right now in Edmonton that are the detached single family is right now trending at 42 days on average. And those don't have offers. The ones that have offers, the pending sales, it's not as bad. Uh, they could still be 10 days away from removing conditions, um, more or less. So they are currently pending. So currently the pending listings are averaging 34 days on market. This will probably go up to about 40 to 44, depending how many days are left during the pending period. So that's a pretty big shift, I would say. I'm interested to see next month's report, which will actually be next week for this um, average days on market uh, for the next month, because I'll have June's data available tomorrow or Friday. So I'll be able to do that video next week. Um, but yeah, double. So I'm not sure if that's going to be affecting pricing quite yet or inventory. So we're going to have to see the other videos. You can do the other videos. Check out uh, my other Real Estate Insider videos for answers to those other three questions that I mentioned at the beginning of the video if you're interested in the Edmonton real estate market. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on videos I'm posting weekly. Thanks for watching. Bye.